How you doing, Sneaker World? My name is Andre Cable of AC Sneaker Restoration. All y'all been waiting on the anticipated weight of the Concord of the Jordan Patent Leather um, Retro 11. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color from the cool grays to black. So, apologize for making you wait so long. Um, it's not easy getting a sneaker. Um, it's very hard to get, just to let y'all know. This is not the official um, Concord Jordan 11 Retro 11. This is a knockoff. I do not work any work on any knockoffs, anything like that. You send it to me, I send it right back to you. Um, also, we're sponsored by TurtleFeathers.net, the official paint supplier for the official paint supplies. So I'm about to get ready to go over everything, go to the material list, tell you what we're about to get ready to do, and we're about to get this thing cracking. I'm gonna explain each product thoroughly, tell you what each product do, and then we're gonna get this process started. Like I said, you're gonna need masking tape right here. You need your mask tape to mask up the shoe. The second thing you're gonna need, you're gonna need propraser. You're gonna have to wipe down the shoe, okay? To make sure the area is clean and everything like that on the shoe. The third thing you're gonna need, you're gonna need um, Sims Sand Free um, 38363. You can purchase this from your auto body shop or you can go to an auto body distributor to purchase this. This is an aerosol can, and uh, what it's made for and what it's used for um, is it, it, it sands the area down as you spray it. And we're gonna go into more about that when we touch it. Right now, I'm just basically touching base on all the products we, we about to get ready to use. Some of the products gonna be used in this video right here. Some of them gonna be used in the second video. So everything is not gonna be used in one day. The second thing, after we use the sand free, we're gonna have to go to Angelus um, Artillic leather paint. So that I mean, what you're going to do is going to paint the outer edge lines and everything like that. You know, so make sure um, you paint the outer edge lines. And after we use the Angelus Artillic leather paint, then we're going to apply the Metonium color spray. Okay, um, we're going to apply that, and then after we apply that, we're going to uh, we're going to apply. Um, the crystal clear. So the, um, the Crayon Crystal Clear to give the high gloss finish. And after we apply the Crayon Crystal Clear to give the high gloss finish, you know what I mean? Also, you can use Rustoleum after you paint it. You can put the Rustoleum on and cover it, it protects the paint. And then you can spray the Crayon Crystal Clear on as well. Then what we're going to do is after we do that, then we up there going to use. And jealous black leather dye, jet black leather dye. First, you got to make sure your shoe is masked up. I already have. As you can see, I masked up the shoe. Everything like that. And the second thing you're gonna need to do to make this project work, you have to wipe the shoe down with a phrase. So use the propraser right here. All right? So you wipe the shoe down with propraser. So the first process we do, we use the Sans Free, Sim, Sim Sans Free, 38363. You can purchase the aerosol can at your body shop. All right? So shake it up real good because you don't want no fog in it. Okay? So each coat you apply, you're gonna lightly apply three to six times. Let each coat dry in between three to five minutes. I'm about to apply the Sans Free um, 38363 to aerosol. I wanna apply it five to six times. You lightly just spray it. Um, you, basically, you shake it up real good because you don't want no fog in it. And then you start like I start. You see that? Then what you do after you spray it one time, you have to, you lightly spray it like that. Then you just do the same process over and over. I sprayed it twice on that time because I want to make sure I hit each side. All right? Okay, now we applied the, the Sim, we applied the Sims product 38363. We applied it five to six times. You lightly um, spray it. Um, you let it dry in between three to five minutes in between each coat. 
okay? You do not touch it, you know, because you will put an imprint on it, and what happens is when you put an imprint on it, you destroy the, um, the patent leather um, project, and what's going to happen is you're going to have a big um, fingerprint on the, pro on the project. All that work you did, it went in the garbage. So you do not want to touch it after you apply it, okay? So the next step we're going to do from all here, we're going to take the Angelus Black Leather Archaeolic Paint, and we're going to paint the outer edge of the line. Right here, down here. So I'm not gonna use the big jar, I'm gonna use the one ounce bottle. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take the Angelus Archaeolic Level Paint, this is the one ounce. Um, this right here is a pint. What we're gonna, it's the same thing, it's just, you know, we're just gonna use a smaller one. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna basically um, paint the outer edge line. I take my brush, as you can see, and I just basically run, run my brush all the way around on the outer edge. It don't have to be perfect. You can do it a few times and everything. Um, Cause uh, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna paint over it and um, with the metonium spray. So it don't have to be real perfect, you know, to the T and everything like that. And then you just take your brush, you dip a little bit, you wipe the residue off, you know, and you just do, just do this side. You know? Um, just to let you know, if y'all make, if y'all if if y'all want to do it on your own, there's no problem with that. Follow the steps as I'm showing you how to do it. Um, if you're not sure how to do it, you know what I'm saying? You can give me a call. I'll give you my information when we're about finished. Um, and um, if you have any questions, you can email me. And we go from there. I am not responsible if you make any mistakes. And um, I don't have anything to do with it. I don't know what you did. I am not responsible. So I mean, if you didn't follow one of the steps I told you what to do. And um, I'll get, um, turtle feathers and AC sneaker rest restoration is not responsible. All right? So if you do this on your own will, that's on you. I'm just letting you know we are not responsible. You know? So just, just follow the steps, what I'm doing. The only thing I'm doing is, is just doing the outer edge. As you can see, I'm just doing the outer edge. And, um, just rubbing my brush gently across. And um, that's basically it. You go over it a few times, you can let it dry. You know, that's all we're doing. That means basically, the reason why we are we, we up there doing the outer edge, that means when we paint it, when we spray it down with the metonium spray, that means we got the, the part of the edge. So when we spray it, that means you ain't gonna miss, you ain't gonna miss anything, anything like that, because we up there doing the edge, so it's gonna be dead on point. And that's why we up there doing the outer edge. And um, just take your time. I mean, there's no, there's no rush, anything like that. You just basically just take your time doing it. You might see me doing it again. I just want to make sure I get everything where I'm supposed to get it and everything like that. Um, that's pretty much it. You know? And, um, let's get the outer edge. Now, you can use a paintbrush you can you can manually paint you can paint with a paintbrush and everything, but the only thing about a paintbrush and the only thing about the, the spray, what's going to happen is it's going to have brush strokes if you use a paintbrush. Now you can use also an airbrush. You can do this with an airbrush. I'm not using the airbrush. I mean, I'm going to be using the metonium spray paint color spray. And it's for patent leather and nylon, plastic, and um, it does the job. So, as you can see, 
I applied it. I outer edge the, the bottom part, I outer edge the top part right there as you can see. And um, I did the whole entire shoe for your view. And um, everything like that. So the next phase is to do is paint. So for us to paint it, um, we're going to use the metonium color spray right here. All right. So um, give me a few seconds and we'll be back. I want to clear the table because a lot of this stuff, what you see on the table, we're not going to be using. We're going to be using them, but we're not using it right now. And um, just give, give, me a few, uh, give me a few seconds and we'll be back. We'll clear the table. We'll be going to the next phase. All right? All right. Okay. We cleared the table. Welcome back. To the, you know, so now we're about to get ready to do, we're about to get ready to apply the Metonium Color Spray New Way 615. That's the number on the can, you can't really see it because it's real small. 615 Metonium Color Spray. Uh, this paint right here is very expensive. Um, it's, it's not cheap. And um, it's hard, sometimes it's kind of hard to find, but you can order it. I got this from my shoe store uh, where I stay at. And um, my shoe guy, he pretty much get a lot of good stuff as well and um, everything like that. Um, probably also at the same time, my sponsors, they, um, they probably have it as well too. So, um, at the, you know, so what we're about to get ready to do, we're about to get ready to apply the metonium color spray. Okay, I shake up the can real well. The reason why you shake up the can is because you don't want no fog or anything like that. So I shake it up. And um, you just lightly spray it. You're going to apply it 10 11 times. After you apply it 10 11 times, you're going to apply each coat 10 11 times. You're going to let each coat um, um, dry in between three to five minutes. And, um, and I like to spray from a far out distance like this. And, and you just move the shoe. And then after you spray it, I sprayed it a couple of times as you can see because it wasn't really on there. After you spray it, then you just let it sit for three to five minutes. You like you spray it the way I did it. And then after you let it sit for three to five minutes, then you apply the next coat on. I like to thank Turtle Feathers for giving us the supplies and everything to make this happen. Because without Turtle Feathers, you know what I'm saying, we won't be able to do this. So I like to thank personally myself, Miss Jessica and the staff of Turtle Feathers for giving us what we need to make this all happen. I'm gonna talk him, baby. I'm gonna talk him, baby. Huh. Shorty so fine, pussy so fresh. Dice pineapples, that my baby taste the best. I nearly lost my mind. Guess it was a test. Swept off her feet and went and bought her at Selects. Paid it off cash, so I never wrote a check. Leave my 